네 번째 발표는요. 르네왕 컨텐츠 박스 CEO 님께서 준비를 해 주셨고요. 블록체인 인프라스트럭처 for the digital content industry 라는 주제로 발표를 준비해 주셨습니다. So please welcome 르네왕 CEO of Content Box. 여러분 박수로 맞이해 주시기 바랍니다. Hi, I'm Rene. I'm the founder and the CEO of Content Box. Uh, I'm very excited to be here today to introduce the Content Box. We try to build a really decentralized content industry. First, I want to give a very brief introduction of the, uh, the, the long-standing handicapped problems in this industry. First, I think nowadays creators are struggling from their own creations, while middlemen take a large portion of the revenue. This is the first problem we met today. Second, I think the country uh, for all those consumers, they contribute their attention. Attention is invaluable and limi limited resource. And when the users consume, engage, and comment on the content, when they contribute on the content, they are not rewarded for their contributions. The third one for content platforms, Content platforms nowadays are also suffering from the copyright competition, and this, all this competition suffers them from put their real strengths, for example, like uh, product design, technology, or maybe put their uh, efforts you know, on improving the user experience. So that's why we really try to leverage in blockchain to really solve the problems I just mentioned by providing the industry with three characteristics. A shared content pool, a shared user pool, and a unified payout system to combine them together. I think I can give an even more uh, explanation on how we build that. I think basically, built based on the shared content pool and the shared user pool, I think I want to make sure all the stakeholders in the content industry including but not limited to creators, consumers, advertisers, and distributors, and as well as developers, all these stakeholders can play on a fair terms. So basically, we will leverage a lot of like new technologies, including advanced crypto algorithms, the novel cross-chain implementation, and off-chain smart contracts, all these like uh, tech, uh, technologies and can help us to really build a new blockchain payout. And based on that, we can try to build uh, the passport and to connect uh, all the information as well as the users. So basically, this is the structure we will look like for the decentralized content industry. We will have three main components. A shared content pool, and this will be built based on box payout. And also we will have like a box passport, kind of like a blockchain-based identity. And as well as combine some other third-party IPFS storage, we can have an unpack solution. So as I mentioned, this box payout will build on a lot of like new technologies, especially the blockchain technology. And this payout will work as a very lean settlement layer with the content and business logic stored off-chain. And the boss passport will work as a blockchain-based identity and attribution services that across applications. And the third one, the third component is box unpack. This will work as a turnkey solution for small and medium-sized uh, platforms, you know, to build a really decentralized content uh, applications easily and quickly. So I'm also the CEO of Castbox. Castbox was founded three years ago, and we are focusing on audio content. And uh, Castbox will be the first DAP on Content Box. Basically, Castbox is the number three on Google Play on uh, in the United States and we used to rank number one on news and magazine categories on in Korea. So basically until today, we have more than 18 million users 
from 175 countries. And all those users will have the ability to access content box. So basically, our content box public blockchain lab was founded by ex uh, former Facebookers and former Googlers. And we try to enhance our uh, R&D technology and also our operation experience to drive the content box. So the content box token already integrated into CastBox app. If the users download CastBox on Google Play or Apple Store, you can see there is a token wallet inside the CastBox already. So they have two functions related to tokens. There is a box wallet. Users can easily to download, to receive, and to send the tokens via the box wallet. As well as we have donation uh, function. With these reward features, users can donate tokens to their favorite publishers. And nowadays, not all of the content already integrate the donation features, but some blockchain-related channels already enable that. I think at the end of this year, there will be more uh, functions, especially token-related functions, will be integrated into CastBox. And we can make sure the creators can earn tokens when they create valuable content, as well as the consumers can also reward by tokens when they do some uh, sharing or discovering great content. All those call user actions will be highlighted. And once the actions was uh, taken, and we try to make sure they are getting reward. So basically, the test night will be online uh, as a Q1 next year, and the main night will be uh, developed at the end of next year. So based on this uh, blockchain, the public blockchain, many new types of applications can be developed. Uh, there's one use case. It's not developed today, but based on the public blockchain, based on the characteristics of blockchain, this can we, we can make it uh, possible in very sh uh, short terms. The first one is native mini called funding launchpad. It's kind of like, uh, um, based on this one, creators can really launch on their independent crowdfunding launch uh, crowdfunding campaign. For example, uh, a filmmaker can really launch their tokens or pre-sell their tokens on content box and uh, make the, an independent film, which will grant the users the access to the films once it is made it. And also the smart contract of this, uh, of this crowdfunding will be really, uh, have really a lot of advantage features. For instance, creators, or the, uh, creators can really make sure the fans can share a certain portion of the film revenue and according to where they are tokens. And uh, meanwhile, if the fans can also speci specify some certain, uh, for example, like uh, the tokens, the funds can be gradually, uh, gradually uh, released and, uh, and also contingent upon the, the product, uh, uh, contingent upon the product uh, uh, milestones. And all these tokens can be really easily released uh, inside the content box blockchain. And uh, without, uh, you know, an additional cash out, cash out uh, authority without uh, an externally, you know, crowdfunding launchpad. The second use case will like a content marketplace without middleman. So, you know, we have a lot of like a token exchange today. And nowadays, the token exchange are more designed for the uh, crypto projects. But maybe in the later one or two years, there will be exchange only designed for content. So with this decentralized content exchange, it will be a new, uh, a new world without a centralized authority. Because nowadays, you know, the, the content distribution are concentrated by several centralized marketplaces for example, like iTunes, like Spotify. And those centralized marketplace, they will decide, they will have the power to determine how much the creators are paid. So as a result, creators are not paid well. 
And uh, for example, uh, if we take the financial report of the uh, of the Spotify, we can see that only 11% of their revenue go to the musicians, and the majority of the revenue didn't go to the pocket of those creators, but go to the platforms or go to the musical labels, you know, the record labels, which is very unfair to the musicians. But with this decentralized marketplace, you know, the new a new method of the revenue distribution will be determined. It will be more fair and open, with low transition fee, more high uh, liquidity, liquidity, and more transparency. This is the second use case. And the third use case will be like a decentralized AdSense for content platforms. It will be, uh, before the startup, I used to work for Google and uh, used to work for AdSense team as well. And when I used to work for Google, this is like uh, the whole um, the whole advertising system is defined by Google. So they will be very untransparency and uh, not flexible at all. But with this blockchain, we can build a decentralized AdSense system. All those advertising inventory can be solved, uh, can be organized in a decentralized file system like IPFS. And in the meanwhile, all those payment monetization can be uh, made via box payout. And the most important, uh, like the depatching, you know, the depatching engine can be developed uh, by leveraging the modules of box unpack. So without a central authority, all the parties in the, uh, in the advertising industry can enjoy more flexibility. All those advertisers can pay less in fee and the, uh, and the publishers can receive more in revenue. So this is like a, a, new, a new kind of like advertising system based on the blockchain. It will happen maybe in one or two years in those blockchain, in those decentralized content industry. The last one, but not least, this is a very interesting um, uh, use case. Um, about three years ago, there's a very, very famous uh, video player called Kuai Bo. And which is like they have like more than 300 m million users within a few years, but it was shut down by by the government. So, but why they have they can reach so many users within a short term? Because they are kind of like leveraging the decentralized uh, uh, mindset. They do not have any content and they do not have users. They only worked as a SDK only works as a technology uh, s server provider. And they, what they do is just uh, use a shared content pool and a shared user pool. And they work themselves as a, a bridge between them. But at that time, there is no blockchain. So for this Kuai Bo, they can only deliver information. They cannot deliver value. So as a result, the creators are not happy because they cannot get what they want. And as a result, the users are not happy because when they download the video, uh, they can enjoy. But after they download, they will shut down the, the Kuai Bo uh, servers. They will not contribute anymore. So there's uh, like only people you know, taking from the Kuai Bo. But with the blockchain, with the token economy, we can really redefine the, this video, this short service on demand video player. So basically, as I mentioned, Nowadays, video players mainly worked as a, a software, maybe as a desktop software or, so or mobile software, and can decode the multimedia uh, files. But a new type of player can be built on the blockchain, can be built on maybe on content box. And additional to the, uh, to the ability to play a video clip, this kind of like uh, on-demand video player can usually help allow the users to search in a bigger, in a wide range of the content that registered on this blockchain. And all those content maybe are not published by a single publisher. Maybe they are hosted or served by different kind of like various of partners of this content box. And the, the player we automatically you know, receive tokens from the consumers once the content was consumed. And also automatically and in real time, distribute those content, distribute those tokens, content tokens, go back to the, 
stakeholders, including the uh, copyright owners, or maybe the, the publishers, or like the server providers, or even the distribution, distributors, according to the predefined smart contract. All these things should be written down on the smart contract first. And when the content was consumed, all this kind of like uh, payment will be done automatically. So this new kind of like a uh, uh, video player will has a huge change on the, the content consumer today. It will help us help users to tap into a vast, you know, a vast uh, shared pool of the genuine content, as well as they will also help the users, you know, to enjoy, to enhance their on-demand video uh, experience. So this is all the, the four I mentioned is all the kind of like a use case will build on the, the new world, the new era of the content industry. So basically, I think the, the content industry, especially the decentralized content industry, should be driven by community, not by any industry giant. I think there's a possibility to take over the nowadays how YouTube, how Netflix, how Spotify are taking over the world. Maybe we will begin with some UGC or long tail kind of like inventory or long tail of demand. Try to combine with the long tail demand together with the long tail supply and try to build a new era of the content industry. So that's all about my presentation today. And thank you for, for joining us. And if you have more information, want to know more information about the content boss, please check our white paper or please check uh, log in our Kakao group or Telegram group. Thank you.